The key to high performing Facebook ads is making sure that you're doing testing up front to make sure you can find out what works and doesn't work. But if you're doing a lot of testing, you could be wasting a lot of budget if you're not doing the testing in a way that gets you results really quickly. So in this video, I wanna show you some ways to set up some tests for specifically your, your creatives to find out what will resonate best with your audience and do this without blowing a lot of your budget up front. But this will also give you the ability to run some ads that will be performing at a higher level and ultimately help you save money when you're running ads. My name is Kevin Shragi. I'm the founder and owner of Brand Arrow. We are a marketing agency that help businesses grow through paid advertising. Now, let's get started. So one thing I wanna talk about is first, how to create the designs for your ads. The best tool that you can use right now that we really love is a tool called Canva, canva.com. This is a tool that uh, if you're not a professional designer, it's an amazing tool to use to create designs for your ads without having to be a professional designer. But if you are a professional designer, you're probably gonna stick with your, your Photoshop's and Illustrator type apps. But I wanna dive in real quickly with Canva and I wanna show you how you can create some creatives for your ads very, very quickly. And then I'll show you how to run tests on those. And then I'll show you when you're running those tests, how to run those tests without spending a ton of money, get to some decisions really, really quickly without wasting a lot of your budget. So really quickly, I wanna dive into Canva over here and show you how to get this these ads going. In Canva, um, it gives you a lot of options on what types of ads to create, but the cool thing is you can literally just go in here and search whatever ad that you wanna run. To keep this simple, I'm gonna start with, I'm just gonna just do an example of a, a post, which is um, a square, basically a square image. And, but in Canva, you can do, you know, you can do videos, you can do GIFs, you can do reels, you can do stories, you can do all kinds of things inside Canva. But for this video, I'm gonna keep it simple and just we're gonna work on a square. Square ads um, usually is, you know, the normal ad that you run for Instagram and Facebook and the newsfeed. So we're gonna do an example on, let's say a walk, a dog walking service. So the cool thing is they have tons of templates in here. So we're gonna, just gonna type in dog walking. Boom, we already have a bunch of templates right here already pre-made inside Canva that you don't have to recreate yourself. Keep in mind, some of these are with the pro version. I have a pro version of Canva. If you don't have Canva, there's a link below. You can sign up um, using the link below. Um, but the free version has a ton of op options and a ton of different templates you can use. But for 12, I think it's $12.99 a month. It's just a, just a pretty good deal on what you get for this. So you get all of these stock images too that you can use. So I'm gonna jump in and throw in this template here. I'm not gonna get the details of you know the copy and all that stuff. I just wanna show you really quickly how you can throw some of the designs in here and create some variations of it. So you can easily just duplicate this page, right? And let's just test a different background color. Let's just test this yellow. And you'd be surprised changing the background color can definitely change the performance of the ad. So let's try a few different colors here. See how quickly it is to be able to test this. Boom, so now we got some colors, right? Now let's test another version of it. Let's let's test this one out, dog walking service. Again, I'm not gonna go into details on changing all this text and all that out. I just wanna kinda show you quickly and how you can do some of these tests. Again, we'll trip, test another color. Oh, not that one. We'll test, try the background here. We'll throw another color in there. Uh, let's try this. All right, cool. Now that we got that, the other thing I want to do is I want to try testing. Um, let's delete this one. Let's start a blank page. You can. I like testing just simple images instead of um, something you know super designed. I just want to test an image that might capture their attention. Typically, when you're running images, I prefer to use images that you've taken personally. Those real images that look like they would be posted to social media tend to perform better than some stock images you can pull from stock photography sites another cool thing about canva you get access to tons and tons of stock photography again if you sign for the pro account you get even more but let's just search um let's search funny dog and typically what you do is you kind of just scroll in and see what catches your eye we'll just dro drop this one in so we got a dog it's kind of funny. Let's do something else real quick. <laughs> Dirty dog, it's not. 
So I want to kind of show you an idea here. So we got a dog that's in the house and he's made a mess. So maybe the idea here is don't let your dog inside all day and destroy your house. Let us walk him or something like that. So anyways, we got all these images now. Now all we're going to do is we're going to download them. Go ahead and download 1080 by 1080. Make sure we got that. We'll do these PNGs fine. Hit download. It's going to download those images. While we're waiting on those, I want to go into Ads Manager and show you how to set this up and how to run some really quick tests on it. So we're going to create a campaign and we're going to create a traffic campaign. So we're going to choose traffic, hit continue. All right, we got those designs. Let's go ahead and dog walking ads. We'll save them. And then we're going to do a traffic campaign. I'm not going to bother worrying about renaming these. Let's do it really quickly. Uh, we're going to go do a website, daily budget. We're going to keep it at 25 bucks is fine. You're going to choose your audience. Uh, I'm not going to go into details on that one, but you know, dog walking might be in there. Uh, go to edit. Sorry. That's what's going on. People living in, we want to do living in. We'll say we're in San Diego. We'll choose San Diego. We'll do 50 miles. All right. Age we don't really care about right now. And then there it is. Show more options. Detailed targeting. I'm not sure why it's not turned on. All right, dog walking. All right, dog walking. Um, probably not the best audience to choose from, but we're just gonna test it. Now, after you get your audience figured out, you usually don't wanna do too small of an audience. You wanna have a generally larger audience. Um, this is local, so it's gonna be pretty small, but if you're nationwide, I would try to get it up to that 5 million mark. If you get too narrow, it's gonna be difficult for this thing to um, get to the audience and perform well. Now, optimization ad for ad delivery, we're gonna do link clicks. Make sure it's link clicks. And then traffic ad. Um, typically what I'm doing here is I'm just doing 1.1, or sorry, image one. Then you can image two, image three, just go down the line. So you don't have to be complicated here. Choose brand arrow. Single image here. Dynamic image experiences are gonna turn off. And we're gonna go ahead and add all those images. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and upload. The first one. And then we're gonna grab it, make sure this is set up properly. We don't want it cropped, we want the original. Next, we'll allow enhancements, hit done. Now that we have in here, we typically keep the primary text empty because we only wanna focus on the creative, that's the Thing about this test is we only want to focus on the creative we don't want to write any copy in here to influence somebody's decision to click the one thing we like to put in here is we like to put a headline to kind of explain what this is just be very clear here don't try to like do anything marketing or salesy um dog walking service you want to be very clear and concise on what this ad is about it's a dog walking service and then you're gonna just gonna hit your you're gonna put a, a website in here that you want to send traffic to uh, you don't necessarily have to have a website already ready to sell the dog walking services, um, but for the user experience, you want to send them to a page that will give them some information about the, the service that you're trying to sell. Um, we use learn more as the button here. And then in this description, I want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to put one space in there and that will get rid of this description. So look at this, we have the image here, and we have dog walking service, and that is all you need. We're gonna hit publish, and I might not, this might be a test account, so it's not ready to publish. I'm not gonna bother with that. So now that we have the ad set up, <clears throat> what we're simply gonna do is we had, I think, I think we had around eight creatives, so let's do seven copies of this, hit duplicate. Now we have seven options here. So then we're gonna do, Image two, I'm not gonna do all these, but I'm just giving it image three. So we have one, two, three, four, and we'll rename all the image one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, you can name these any ways you want, but this is kind of the easiest way to do it. And we're gonna go to image two, 
delete this one and then add a new image. Let's upload the new one. I think it's the same as this one. Okay, we're gonna make sure the image is still the original. We don't want it to get cropped. Done, cool. So you're gonna do that seven times, add all those images, and then when you're done, you're gonna have seven different images and seven different ads. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the campaign level and we're gonna set a rule to only run to 500 impressions because we don't want this to run for a very long time and waste a lot of money. We're gonna run to 500 impressions. We feel like after 500 impressions, we have a good idea which one will perform better over the other. So go to rule, create a new rule, custom rule. We're just gonna do impressions greater than 500. And then we're gonna do all actives, active ads in one campaign, turn off ad, impressions, it's greater than 500, add. So impressions greater than 500, we will turn off the ad. Run continuously, I don't want to get those emails, so we'll turn that off, hit create. And now, this when this ad these ads run, each ad will run to 500 impressions and then it will shut the ad off and now you can start looking at the data to see which ad is testing the best. Now, whenever your ads are done running, what do you need to look for? So here's a couple things that I would look for. One, I would look for click-through rate. Look which, which ads are getting the highest click-through rate. Uh, you also wanna look and see which one's getting the most clicks and then also look at cost per click as well. So take your top performing ads and then from there, you can start testing copy from it. Or maybe you start seeing a theme of like certain images that are testing well, and maybe you start testing some more images around that theme. But the idea is just continuously do these, these tests to find out what works and what doesn't work. And if you run this test and you get no clicks and the click through rate's really low, just start running, run some more images and test different images. You can do this with videos, you can do this with GIFs, you can do this with uh, reels. Um, and you're basically just trying to test to see who is clicking on your ads and which ad is getting the most clicks. So that's why we're testing for traffic, we're testing for link clicks. So if somebody's clicking on the ad, that means they're giving you some idea that yeah, they're interested. So that is the easiest way to run test for creative. Um, then once you find your, your best creatives, you start writing copy for your ad. Sometimes it's better actually to write the copy first and test the copy first. And then once you have a cop, the copy that tests well, start tr trying to put some creative around that message that you're writing. But anyways, th this is the best way to, at least in our opinion, to run tests without breaking the budget and spending tons and tons of money, you know, running ads for, you know, two weeks, 30 days, whatever. You don't want to run these things forever before you're making a decision. You want to make a decision quickly and then put it into um, the production mode and, and actually run it as an ad. If you enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate uh, a quick like. Also, be sure to subscribe. We, we release these videos at least once a week. If you want to stay updated on all the videos that we're releasing, make sure you hit subscribe and then hit the notification bell. But I really appreciate you guys um, supporting the channel and watching these videos. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take off and we'll start recording some more videos. Thanks.